isn't red. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. Hello, everybody. Hello. Just do a quick mic check. Can you all hear me okay? Just want to make sure my I've had so many technical issues today. So many. Okay. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, my goodness. Today has been, today has been a day. 
It has been a day. Has it been a day for you? Because it's been a day for me. Oh, 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 yeah. I don't know. Oh, Woo. okay. But I am here. We are together. And this is all that matters. It's all that matters is that we are all here. Yeah, let me move over a bit more. There we go. Hello. Hello. Excellent. 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 So, um, Hi, everybody. How are you enjoying your post-rapture day? I see all of you are still here with me. That's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, wow. So it's um, <gasps> a vampire tried to eat you? Okay, wait. Was he like a hot vampire, like like a Starion? Or was he like a creepy vampire? We don't like creepy vampires. Yeah. Yeah, it was... It was great. So I woke up this morning at 4 a.m. Because I don't know if one of you would like to explain that to me. That would be awesome. All I can come up with is brain. Stupid, stupid brain was like, guess what? You're awake now. And I'm like, no, I'm not brain. Hell no. No, 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 no. But no, my, my brain said, yeah. Um, Do you know what? It could be anxiety. It, it could just be like normal insomnia stuff. Who knows? All I know is up at 4 a.m. Could not go back to sleep. So my day started off just fabulous. Just fabulous. And then what else happened? Oh, then we lost internet for like two and a half hours. So that was a fun. That was a fun. And then uh, and then my, uh, my, my uh, game won't play. So it plays on my computer, my laptop, but I can't get it to share. It's it's awful. It's awful. I'm here. I am my first game stream, and like literally everything goes wrong. I'm over here like texting Brie, going, "Help me, help me, Brie!" And you know what she did? She ignored me. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> my own womb fruit. My womb fruit ignored me. <laughs> I think think she wanted me to like figure it out on my own be a grown-up and I don't want to be the grown-up no 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 oh, well yeah 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 well there you go there you go so uh I mean I, I'm gonna forgive her of course because she is awesome but but right now I'm just gonna milk it I tell you, I'm gonna milk it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her up later and be like, "Why, why weren't you, why weren't you there in my time of need?" Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. I could have texted my mom chat. I did not try to breed two or three because um, they have less technical knowledge than I do. And and uh, um, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But it's okay. I I I'm just gonna default. Gotta tell you, I'm gonna default to Stardew Valley. So you're all gonna get some Stardew Valley today because we're gonna play a game today. Come hell or high water, we are playing a game and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And, and you know what? Let's face it, we always fall back on Stardew Valley, don't we? Because that's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah. The hubris. <laughs> the hubris. I was betrayed by my womb fruit. Oh, oh, I tell you, I tell you, it was awful. You know, my chickens were going nuts during the eclipse. My cats were like, it's night, feed me. They didn't really care. But, but my chickens, they were like, they went inside because they're like, oh, it's time. It's getting dark. And they went inside and then it got like bright again. Then they came back out. And they're like, that was a short night. Where's my food? And I'm like, no, honey, it's no, 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 you don't. You don't get that. It no. You don't get. You don't get special food for like a two-hour night. Doesn't work that way. No. It wasn't even that dark. Like it wasn't even that dark at all. I could still read. I I, I could. Yeah. You have chickens too. I love chickens. I love chickens, even though they're kind of dumb. I think I. I mean, they really. They're not super duper duper smart, but yeah, chickens. Oh, love chickens. Love the eggs. I get brown eggs. I do, I do. All my eggs are different shades of brown. Some are like light brown and some dark brown, but they're, they're, they're brown. So you can't dye them for Easter. Nope. 
nope, nope, nope. Can't dime for Easter. You have to like use like crayon, but that's okay. I like that. I like that. Yes. They are dumb and silly, but you know what? We love them for that, don't we? I think I think when you have a really dumb animal, like 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 they just there's just something more lovable about them. You know, like you just want to hug them and and take care of them. So, yeah, that's what I did. So there there's my my um we can eat chickens this weekend. Oh, is it chicken days where you are? Have you ever gone to Tractor Supply? That's how we got chickens in the first place. We we went to Tractor Supply and there were cute, cute chickens. And um, yeah, we saw them and, and then we took them home again. And that was it. That that That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why you get white eggs so you can dye them for, for Easter. Yeah. I, I do have an orange cat and she's evil, but we love her. I don't know what it is with orange cats. They're like just a, mm, 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 I don't know. Today we're going to be playing original Stardew 1.6. Hope no spoilers um, because that's working on my computer and I do not want to touch any more. I, I am, my nerves are shot. I tell you, my nerves are shot. They, they, they are shot. I, I, I can't, I can't. I was 45 minutes trying to get this darn game working. Hello. <laughs> I tell you, ah, ah, what a day, what a day. So we didn't have a big eclipse. We had a little eclipse, but that was okay. Cause it was still pretty and I like to watch it and it was cool. And, and, uh, you know what I should do? All right. I have, I have a, I have some, I have some video footage of my orange cat playing D&D with me. So I'm going to I'm going to pop that on my shorts later, probably tomorrow. So you you come on, you come on my YouTube channel tomorrow and there'll be like a really short video like 3 seconds long of my orange cat playing D&D with me, okay? Yeah. I'll do that for you. So you you can expect it. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So important things. Important I got to look down. I swear. Oh, goodness me. What is happening? Uh oh. Uh oh. There we. Okay. Oh. Oh, my whole screen went dark. Oh, I tell you. I tell you. Maybe it was because I was mocking the rapture too much. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my whole screen went dark. Like it was all black, and I wasn't seeing you. And you cannot leave me. Okay. Promise. 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 You can't go. Okay. Good. Whew. Don't do that again. You scared me. I, I want to do some thank yous first. I'm going to do some thank yous. I, uh, I, I don't have a PowerPoint this time. Nope. I just have a, I have an image that I'm going to post on my community page when I'm done, but I would love to very specially from the bottom, right down there, right there, bottom, bottom of my heart, my big, big heart, my bottom of my heart. I want to thank you. I want to thank those people who were so sweet with my tips. Yeah. Yep. On my, on my, on my debut stream. I really appreciate it. And I think that you're special. And I wanted, it's not working still, by the way, because, you know, PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint. Uh, I tell you, they have it in for me. Eh, eh, I tell you, I can't even buy anything from Etsy right now. It's it's just a mess. It's just a mess. But I do want to thank, I do want to thank from the bottom of my heart. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to say the names and I'm going to, I'm going to mess them up, but I'm going to do my best. So. I have Abe Goldman. Abe Goldman. Very generous with the 50. Thank you. Nori. Five and a five. Saw you twice in there. V is for Void. I see you here tonight too. And thank you very much for the 20. Uh, Arkir allegedly. Also a five. Thank you. Durata. 20. Thank you very much. Sam Head. I've seen you. You talked to me today on on, on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter. You got a one. Thank you. A Wall Nation five. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, who else? Stridely. You came in twice too. I saw that. I saw that. Twenty five and five. A yeah, PowerPoint is my friend. Did I say? Did I say PowerPoint? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. PayPal. You're right. Thank you. See, I am just I'm just messed up in the brain today. PayPal. No like. No. PowerPoint love. They're my besties. I love PowerPoint. They're my besties. Oh, yeah. So we have Stridely. Yep. 25 and 5. 
at Koi underscore VT. I know that's not Vermont. I'm guessing that's VTuber. But maybe this Vermont. I don't know. Maybe it's something else. A 10. Thank you very much. Mythanar Cole, a 5. Thank you. Thank you. Joe Cool, 20. Thank you, Joe Cool. And Alice, 10. Thank you so much. Platypus, oh, 200. Thank you. I saw your comment about Riven. I saw that. Nigget, 420. I saw what you did there. <laughs> I saw what you did there. Nate, for five. And Malkier, I hope I said your name right. I've been practicing. 10. Thank you. Pat, 10. And this one I have to yell because it's all in caps. Fable Edge. Fable Edge. Fable Edge, 250. Now, as either Ravi Ruby or it's Ravi Ruby, whoever it is, it's Awesome Ruby. Thank you for the five. And no, with the clever no, like the big no in there. Mm, nice. Yep. Five. Hey, it's either Arafal, Arafal, Arafal. I don't know, but it's spelled so pretty, though. Five. Thank you very much. Kai got 10. And Taser Lad also a 10. And Shady underscore a 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are the bomb. I'm going to post my little, my little thanks on my community page later tonight. So, but I wanted to thank you individually and personally. You are awesome. Thank you. All right. Yes. Yes. I love, I love PowerPoint. It was super good, but it, it was my, um, I actually just read that off my PowerPoint screen. It was my OBS that was not being nice today. Nope. No, PowerPoint's always good to me. Yeah. Thank you so much. You guys, you guys rock. And I felt so special. Yeah. Okay. So, no, everyone's gone to the rapture today. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I've heard the opening sequence of the game now at least, uh, what, 50 times trying to get that thing to run. <laughs> I got those first five seconds down and considering it's a really annoying beeping noise, mm, it's it's like, ouch, not good, not good. Oh, Arafal, thank you, Arafal. I, I, I hope I got the, 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 what is that? When you put this emphasis, the emphasis in the right spot. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now, oh, ho, 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 ho. Where are we? We're going to play this game, aren't we? Should we do this? Should we do this? Yeah, the Rapture game got recalled. The game has gone to the Rapture. Yeah, yeah, the Rapture game went to the Rapture. Oh my gosh. I'm going to play it with you guys sometime because because it's just a really cool, chill game. that it's, it's really pretty and it's just walking around and we can just have a nice talk. But today we're just going to have a nice talk on a farm and we're just going to play for a little while. Just uh, be farmers. And you're going to help me make decisions, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could do buy me a coffee and stuff. I'm going to look into that. Into that. I think it's important that none of us got raptured because I really want you guys with me today. I think it's important that we all stay together, you know, maintain a group. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get me in a proper position here. Let's look. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm way off. Oh. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yeah, it was so funny. I could load it on my on my my computer, but I couldn't like access anything else and then it wouldn't show on my screen here. I don't know what was going on. Okay, but we're fine. And remember, you just you just let you let Bree know that she let me down in my time of need because I need to milk all the sympathy. All the sympathy that I can get out of this. Oh yeah, yeah. I might I might get a really good Mother's Day gift out of this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's that's what I'm rooting for. Yep. All right. So today is mom day. Mom day, the, the what is it, eighth of April, and we are doing it. Here we go. We we are not doing it. <laughs> Where'd my stardew go? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm not playing any games today. Stop. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, so uh, 
That was the shortest treat ever. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. It's mom day. Is it a Monday? It's going to be mom day from now on. I was told I have to do that. And I, I listen and obey. Sort of. Sort of. Okay. Here we try this again. It, I hit the, I hit the play button on Steam. Do we think it's going to work? I don't see anything. Do you see anything? I don't, see, I don't even see anything on my screen. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. We're just going to do this. Come over here. Hi, guys. Oh, wait. I think it's working. I think it's working. See what happens? All I have to do is threaten, like, to not play, and boom, it starts to play. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's make this bigger. Whoa. Whoa. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. You get to see me do this old style dragging and dropping. All right. Are we good? Are we good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah. Ah, we are going to start a new game. We are going to do a new game together. The just chatting while we troubleshoot. You know what? I think it has to do with how the game is set up because in Steam, all of them have like a little arrow down box next to the start and this one doesn't. So I don't, I don't know if it's the game or what, but you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. New. Okay. Super important. Our name. Our name. Mama. That spells mama. <laughs> We're just going to have mama. Yep. Work for you. Does it fit? Oh, it does fit. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. Farm name. What do you want to call our farm? You can call it Cookie Farm, of course. I can call it Chat Farm. I can call it Chicken Farm. <laughs> All right. How about, how about Don't Break? <laughs> oh, I can't even type today. Don't Break Farm. Please don't break on us. <laughs> Please don't break. My favorite thing is chat. 100%. Yep. Chat. Yeah. Rapture. Rapture rants. You know what? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Rapture. Rapture farm. There we go. That works. Okay. Okay. Quick show of hands. Who wants a cat? Who wants a dog? Which one? Who wants the cat? Who wants the dog? Anyone? <laughs> you are my favorite. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Cat. Do Can you get a dino? I don't have that. Okay. Cat. Oh, you are making it hard. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm I'm gonna pick a cat because cat is it sounds like chat. We got the cute little this one. We got this one. And there's the dogs. I think I'm gonna do the pinky one. Yeah, I haven't seen this one yet, but it has pink ears. I like pink ears. I have pink ears. See, I have pink ears. Yeah. All right, we're gonna play a girl because I'm a mom. I'm a mom. Are we happy with this? Are we fine? Are we fine with the generic? Are we fine with the generic? I'm good. Are we cute? Should we just leave us? We're fine. We gotta do the hair gray though, don't we? Heck yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's us. Okay. We're gonna, you know, I'm gonna skip this intro. I mean, I don't know about you, but that part where, uh, where, where, where the, uh, where you like get the very beginning and you see yourself working and then you see like that skeleton at the desk at for like working for Joja. Oh, that always makes me so sad. Like, man, guy worked himself to death. It's just not good. It's just not good at all. Uh, yeah, that's just sad. Uh, that makes me sad. So you're right. Is it shot is a uh, French for cat. So therefore we got it. Okay. What farm should we pick? The new one? What is this one? 
I forgot which one it was. Hmm. Beach farm, Meadowlands farm. There we go. Should we do Meadowlands with, with the chickens? So we get chickens right away? We like chickens, yeah, yeah. I like chickens. Unless anyone has any objection. I see lots of happiness for chickens. All right, let's do the new farm. Okay, let's start this thing. Woo! Or not start this thing, because everything wants to crash. <laughs> Here we go. All righty. I think this is funny because I don't use these keys. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause for a second here. How is our sound? Is it too noisy? Does it sound good for you? Does it sound good? I don't want to... In my ear, it's really loud, so... Aww. Good night! Thank you for coming in! Okay, good. Perfect? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Good, 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 good. I'm so, okay, okay. So let, let's call it some things. Let's call it some things. We're going to make some mayo and we're going to chug some mayo. I'm good with that. I am good for that. We're, we're definitely going to chug some mayo. Anything else that we want to do? Anything else besides chugging mayo? Um, a little bit lower. Yeah, it's allowed for me too. Let's see if I can fix this. Put you down in the green bar. Okay. That's a touch lower. That's a touch lower. Is that is that good? I got my mic up all the way and I got my desktop down a little bit. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Whoa! Yeah, I wasn't sure about the volume buttons. If it's like it's it's you're gonna if I'm gonna be like washed out behind the noise in the background. Okay. Okay, y'all gonna see me fish. I I'm not good at fishing. Alright, let's start today. Let's go outside. <laughs> find a husband to woo. Okay, chug mayo, fish, find a husband to, to to woo. Not to moo, that's a cow. We don't want that. Alrighty. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of this now. No, I'm not. There we go. Hello! We're gonna pick up some hay. Yeah. There we go. I got hay. Hey! Let's go outside. Maybe not. Whee! Do you guys check your TV every day? I don't. Especially in the beginning. Also, this, I don't like how these are. Do you guys move these around? I always have a specific order. I like to have my axe. And then my pickaxe. And then my hoe. And then my sickle. And then the rest of my stuffs. I think that, yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Elliot beckons. He wants to sniff my pits. <laughs> I I like foraging in Stardew. I think that's one of my favorite. So I can't remember where my chickens are. They're they're somewhere. Do you remember where my chickens are? I think they're at the top. Oh yeah, there they are. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh darlings, come out and play. Yeah, look at our chickens. We're gonna rename these. So I need you guys to tell me what names we want for our chickens. All right. Because right now, one of them's named is Chicky. We can't have Chicky. We don't want Chicky. All righty. What name do we want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we call this one Nugget? Alrighty, we'll call this one Nuggets. Unless anyone has any objections. Pigeon. Okay, one of them will be Pigeon. One of them Cookie. <laughs> so off <hot>, Pigeon. <laughs> Breed number four. Okay, we'll have Nuggets. Nugget is that one, and this one will be will be pigeon, just because. Oops, I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, that's a long word. Don't you love how I type pigeon? I think everyone names their chicken nugget, right? It's like just that's just something you have to do. 
Can I put this hay in there? Is that possible? No, I have to build a silo. Oh, look, everybody, my friend's online. <laughs> Maybe I should turn those off. It's a good thing I don't have a lot of friends on my Steam. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go uh, do some fun stuff in my yard. I think we need to build a, a chest so we can store things. Yeah, I think we need to store things. So we need we need a chest. So let's uh, let's chop some wood. Let's chop lots of wood. We're gonna get that mayo. I have to go back inside and pick up all my wood. I feel so klutzy and so like uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I've never played this before just because I, I'm, I'm going to admit I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You know, just like it's like there's people here judging me how I play Stardew. You know, I mean, your, your chat, I love you and we're all good friends here. But still, it's like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, Mama Cookie? It makes me nervous. It does. It makes me really nervous. Alrighty, let me just kind of chop some trees here to get that stuff going. Yeah. Alrighty. The good news is um, most of the people on my on my friends list who pop up are not on right now. <laughs> so that's good. So hopefully I'll have no more of those. Note to self, turn those off for the future. See, these are learning things. We, we are learning. We're learning. We're all learning together. How's my health? Okay, we're good. It's behind me. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, so I also learned that we need to go talk to people and make some friends, but I want to make this, this chest. Oh, why am I doing this? Okay, so I'm chopping down a bunch of trees. And I'm gathering some because I want to make a storage chest to store my stuff. So I'm going to go to my inventory here, my little crafting box. I'm going to make myself a chest right there. And I'm going to take this chest and I'm going to put it right he 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 here. Here we go. And everything is going to go inside here. All of it. All the stuff that I don't need. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Now, now that we've got that done and our health is getting kind of low, um, see, here we go. Whee. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head into town and we're going to talk to some people. Love it. We're going to go chat with some people. We're going to go chat with the villagers. All right. First of all, do you guys ever see any like forage on your first day? Because I never do. I never do. Not at all. Here we go to town. Hello. Hello, villagers. Oh, you know what I did? I brought my hoe, but not my not my scythe. Oh, well. I forgot. First day, we got to cut things. Not today. I'll tell you. Hi, it's Sam. Hello, Sam. Oh, wait, let's do some wording. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet ya. Does he sound like that? I don't know. To me, he sounds like that. Can't go that way because we forgot our scythe. And I'm not wasting energy. Here's Penny. Say hi to her. Oh, hello. Hi, Penny. That's how she talks too, right? Do you ever like talk for people and get like little like voices in your head about them? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Break out the Excel spreadsheet. Oh, yeah. Excel spreadsheet followed by a PowerPoint presentation on why we are doing things. <laughs> And here's Leia. Okay, so here's my argument. Everyone says Leia, but I swear her name is Lee. Like, that's how you spell Lee, right? I don't know. How do you say it? All right. Uh, put, put it, put, 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 I don't know. Put a heart if, if you think it's Lee and you think I'm right. Or, or just ignore me if you think it's Leia. <laughs> Sam is a character. I like Sam. I like Sam a lot. I think I think Sam is as a character is like an eight. I enjoy him so much. See, no one, no one, no one likes Leah. Yep, I enjoy Sam. So, but I would, I don't like to marry him. Um, I think his hair is great. I don't care what anyone says. I love his hair. 
Leia, I also like. I think she's just so nice. Yeah, I like her. So nice. Okay, so this is Leia. She says, hello. It's nice to meet you. She's got that lovely little voice. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, there's so many ways of spelling Leia and Lee. She needs to walk on because I need to check the garbage cans. Because, you know. Oh. There's a can! You, you all bring me luck? You all bring me luck? Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm super excited. I'm pausing here. I, you guys are like, uh, well, obviously there's always a delay between my computer and what goes on to YouTube, so I'm lost. <laughs> it's down here. This is the beach. Anybody down here? Anyone important? Oh yeah, trash checkers for the win. Do you know how much trash I like good stuff that I find in trash cans? Like, some good stuff. Here we go. My future husband. Ah. The new farmer. Let's give him like a terrible fake French accent. We're all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many conversation. I thought it sounds terrible. <laughs> it sounds terrible. I can't do that. No. <laughs> you all suddenly leave. You're like, no, never do that again. Never do that again. All right, let's give Elliot a good voice. Uh, I don't know what to do for Elliot, just because he annoys me so much. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> you know what? You know what? His hair is magnificent. I will give him that. 100% mag mag magnificent. All right. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. There we go. <laughs> we'll have that smarmy one. Because you know he's going to start talking about having crabs soon. And that's, that's just a questionable topic of conversation with somebody who's new. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I love when I find cookies in the trash too. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Okay. More trash cans. Oh. Oh, there's Evelyn. I love Evelyn so much. She has awesome hair like me. There she is. Why, hello! And welcome to our little community, dear! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's so good. <laughs> you can call me Granny, if you like. I love him. I love him. She's the best. She's the best. Alright. Ah! You aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Jody's nice. I like Jody. You know, she tries hard. She tries hard. I, I like her. She's like the mom who tries hard. Yeah. Okay, uh, which way do we want to go? Up. Let's go up. Hello. You must be Mama Cookie. I'm the new farm the new farmer. I can't even read. I'm Caroline. You're married to Pierre. He's a terrible husband. He likes to steal your vegetables and sell them for a tremendous markup. You'll meet him sooner or later. Please save me. Please, please save me. I added, obviously the script should have been longer. <laughs> All right, is it too late to go in? Can we go in here? Oh, we've already missed Harvey. You must be down. I'm, I'm just talking with you and messing around. I'm not paying attention. Normally I'm like running through going, gotta do the stuff, gotta do the stuff. There he is. Come back, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. <laughs> and we got a child's voice. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. <laughs> oh yeah. 
I tell you, Pierre is is not my favorite. I think I like him less. I'll tell you, Demetrius I have trouble with because I'm mean, he's a scientist. I want to really like him, but I don't like how he treats his kids. Kid, step kid. We nobody's around. Do you ever sing along when you're like playing the game? I do so much. I really do. I actually start knowing like the names of the songs because I play the soundtrack all the time. Love it. Love it. Okay, anybody up here that's worth visiting right now? All right, Robin. Hello, 100%. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. You know, Robin? It is. It is exhausting, Robin. It's very exhausting. I think you and I should have a nice trip down to, like, you know, the little, uh... Star Drop Saloon, get a couple beers, and we should talk about how exhausting it is. You and me, what do you say? I think so. I think she'll, she'll never go on a date with me. Oh, no, no, I forgot he doesn't go this way. I missed him. I'm not good enough friends with Sebastian. <laughs> I think I'm stuck here. There's the microwave. Must stand at the microwave. I love Robin. Isn't there a mod that lets you marry Robin? Some of these people I would marry just because they're so super awesome. Oh, here he is. Let's see what he has to say about his family, shall we? Greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Yeah, yeah you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Not impressed. Not at all. Where's Linus? Do we know where he is? Yeah. You know what? If Robin and Caroline divorced their husbands, this game would be like 100% better. 100%. <laughs> A stranger. Oh, well, this is Linus. How does Linus sound? How about very deep? A stranger. Hello. Because he look, he's got like that Santa Clausy face going on, doesn't he? He just looks, I mean, he's he's dressed in leaves, but he just looks so, uh, so, so uh, I don't know, warm and inviting. I just like him. I like him a lot. All right, it's five o'clock. We're going to head on back to the farm. Not really much going on over here. And we're getting later in the day, and eventually I'm going to fall asleep and pass out. Yeah. So I, I just, I, I started playing this on my own and I got as far as fall and um, I, I realized that fall has some serious wind in it now. Was it, has it always been in there? I don't know. I didn't ever realize that. You know what? I don't have my... Fine. We're going to do this. You doing that. We're going to clear some paths here. Very important. Very important path clearing. Otherwise, we're going to get stuck someday. And, uh, yeah, that, that's not good. That's not good. He's, yeah, you know what? I think he uses the leaves on his uh, his outfit for his, uh, his toilet paper, honestly. Because he goes behind that bush every moment. Yep. What, starting 1.7 comes out, and it's just like you can now get a law degree and act as the other neighbor's divorce lawyer. Yes, I will play 12 in-game years for that. I will. I would. Absolutely. Bye. 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 There's my fish. I Should I sell my fish? Should we sell the fish? I think, I think we should. I think that might be a wise idea. I needed that. Let's go sell this fish. See if we can get some money. Some money, money, money. Some dollar, dollar bills. There you go. Bye, fish. And now I'm just going to try to clear things with stuff that won't kill my health. So, did you all know this? I don't know. But if you if you have things here that go into the community center, when the community center icon shows up here, if you hover over the stuff, the little icon here will pulsate. Did you know that? That's been so helpful because I always forget if I need it or not. And I quickly run a check. Especially if things are in chests and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm stuck. This is like, uh, would you play those games and you have like the mazes? 
and, and, and yeah, that's me. I get stuck all the time. This is like me playing Halo or uh, <laughs> any other first person game where I just kind of run into stuff and go, oh, I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. So yeah, there we are. It's getting darker and darker and darker. Excellent. How many of you play Stardew like a lot or how many of you play it just a little bit? I want to know what your, your Stardew Valley habits are. I'm feeling sluggish with overexertion. That's okay. You know why? Because your first few days, nothing bad happens to you. You know that? Nothing bad. Yes, it did pop up on the official Twitter account, Samhead. You got it. Or is it Shamed? I'm just kidding. It's Sam. Okay, you have a confession. Yes, Dino, what is your confession? I am looking forward to this. While I sluggishly get myself inside. 3,000 hours of Stardew, you beat me. I only have like... Uh, uh, like 1,200 or 1,900 or something like that. We're going to go to sleep. I think it's a wonderful game, though. It, it makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I can see I can see getting bored easily. I can see that. I can see that. I, I do know that that if you do get bored easily, that um that it's also uh, um you can start adding like more challenges to yourself. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. Clicking on wrong buttons here. Whee! Good morning! Anything happen on a Tuesday? What does our luck say today? The spirits are in good humor today! Shame we're not going anywhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's a game that everyone should play at least, like, once. For 27, 50 million hours. Hello there! Just got back from a fishing trip! You should come down to the beach sometime! I've got something for ya! Heck yeah, Willie! We are there, 100%. 100% going. I realized yesterday or the day before that I say 100% a lot. Like, so much. I had no idea that I say that word, well, two, two words, so much. So much. Yeah. Oh, yes, move the bed right to the front. And then later on, when you, you expand your house and you put, like, you have that room off to the side, I like to put all my jars there and my, like, my preserves jars. And then I'll move the bed one notch up from the wall. And then that way I can uh, uh, scooch behind it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Alrighty. We're going to take apart all of these. All this stuff. Now, we're going to leave this grass right here. Uh, we're going to stream for a couple hours today. Another hour or so. Maybe do a good week or two. Oh, yes. Two? 100%. <laughs> I'm sorry. Two? We're gonna we're gonna leave this this grass because I want I want to save it all up for my for my chickens. Oh my chickens! I keep forgetting we have chickens. I love chickens. Hello, hello pigeon. Where's the other one? Where's Nugget? There he is. So cute. You know what? While we're here, let, let's clear up their yard a little bit. The first time I played. <laughs> the first time I played Stardew Valley, I was so concerned that I was going to axe, like, one of the chickens and kill it. And I wouldn't cut anything near a chicken. Like, I wouldn't fall a tree on it. I wouldn't break a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't do it. I was too scared. There we go. Oops. And then we're going to get rid of the fiber. 
because we want to give them all the lovely stuff. And those of you who are new, and I'm going to spoil some more stuff for you. See this this blue hay? This blue this blue grass? You get like, I don't know, what was it five every time you cut one down? It's good stuff. Good stuff. I'm already exhausted. I haven't even done anything. Look at this. It's 9.20 in the morning. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. Pigeon 2? All right, let, let's go do that. We need to go do that. Oops. Hopefully don't escape. Where'd he go? Come here, baby. Pigeon? There we go. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, let's do it this way. All right. Now, we cleaned them out, our little chicky hut out. So they're, they're gonna be happy in there now. Absolutely happy. And then we don't have to worry about like, like any, like, as long as it's not raining, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Oh yes, the quest button is angry. I'm so sorry. I tend to ignore that for so long. <laughs> there we go. We have to greet people. We have to harvest an egg. That's coming up soon. Very soon. And we have to go to the beach before 5. Well, you know what? It's it's um, 10 a.m. <laughs> Plenty before 5. Ah, ah, ah. I know I'm going to die of sluggishness, but we got to get that coal. Okay, there you go. Up there. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go. S oh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? We all know what's on Tuesdays, don't we? On Tuesday? We know. We know. We know. Let's go. Let's go take care of that business. Yeah. I know. I'm so happy I get coal. Here we go. Boop. Oh, I love this new thing. See this? This was like one of the best add-ons that never gets mentioned. It's the... It's the you got something to sleep on so you know you leveled up. Oh, you can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Tuesday in it. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Yeah. <laughs> I do like Emily. Here's Abigail. So just so you know, Bree number two loves Abigail. Marries Abigail all the time. Only Abigail, 100%. And when Bree number two and Bree number three play like a group playthrough, Bree number three will do everything that she can do to get Abigail to marry her before she may, may, uh, may, marries uh, uh, Bree number one, uh, two, two. Three will try to get it before two, two. So that way, Brie number two can't marry her favorite person, Abigail. Like, that's super underhanded. I love it, though. <laughs> you know. There we go. That's right. But someone new is moving in onto that old farm. That's right. And now, when you're visiting your, your real dad, you can come stop by and visit me. Hey! It's Mama Cookie, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. <laughs> I'm here to steal all your money, take all your credit, and ruin your life. And then get mad at you when you find my secret stash. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I also buy produce from you. Ha! Ha! For a good price. Ha! Alright, we're gonna get everybody else. We're gonna follow them in. Who do we say hello to? <laughs> I won't tell your wife at all that Abigail is the best. I won't. I promise. I'll be good. Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my sharp, my sharp, my sharp, it has an R in it. I'm British now. I'm British. My sharp is the place that you're looking for. Uh, who else? My husband Kent is a soldier working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. I know it's so sad, isn't it? 
I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. <laughs> I do not like Pierre. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I know she means wild horseradish, but I gotta tell you, I just I just read it as though the horseradish is wild. Like I've seen some wild horseradish <laughs> in the forest. Wild, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who else? Uh, oh, Robert has more to say. Plus, your business supports the local economy. See, I support, I support Robin. Here we go, we got Marty now. Ah, Mayor Lewis, my secret boyfriend, who I'm not allowed to tell anybody because that's really not cool. Told you, told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I don't know about you all. We're going to stop here and talk about this because I think Lewis is doing nothing right by Marnie at all. No, not at all. I think, I think Mayor Lewis is, is like, should not be keeping her a secret at all. At all. Yeah. Um, so while I'm thinking of it, some small little chat here. Uh, uh, do y'all, do y'all know what a horseradish looks like? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, you, you put a horseradish in a thumbnail, you can get yourself demonetized. Yeah. Yeah, really. It's, it's, uh, it's, um, mm, mm. yeah. You need to go Google that yourself, but not at work where you're going to get fired. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Just a little tip for me. Alrighty. There we go. You know, and I, I don't, I don't know. Oh, look, there he is, the man himself. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? You know how it was? It was me not, not disrespecting the woman I love. That's how it was. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down, he actually loved that house. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Yeah, yeah. Let's go clear this question mark. So, I haven't gotten to this point yet. I don't... I don't know, uh... I don't know. Yeah, there's so much background drama. There, there is so much... This this is not, like, a cozy game. This is, like... This is, like, a tea game. Okay? And not not just what Caroline gives you. No, 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 no. No. No, no. You get, you get, you get the tea here. Anyway, I don't know what these stars are for. Uh, I haven't figured out that yet, because I haven't gone to, um... Uh, 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 the whole end of the year yet, but I think, I think they've do it at the community center because they've got little stars on them. That's my guess. Nobody, nobody spoil it for me, okay? That's my guess. And then, I know what this is. And you know what? We're gonna kick butt here. We are. We are. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Lewis's birthday's coming up. So, uh, yeah, so as far as headcanon, no. No, this is legit here. It's all here. There is so much dirt in this game. Oh, let me tell you. we got to finish saying hi to people. Let's go say hi to Alex. Mr. Jock. Huh. You're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I don't, you know what? Honestly, I do not like Alex in the first half. Look at those angry eyes. Once he gets through, like, the whole misogyny part and he starts to get, like, a little nicer, I like him then. But up front... No. Nah. No. Nah. And... Oh, there he is. George. And 100%. 100%! I love George so much. Oh, yeah. Huh. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off, huh? See, and, and now that we know the secret of why George is in his wheelchair, you know he's in pain. He's, like, in chronic pain. And the man is, like, still functional in that chronic pain. Like, seriously, kudos. And we never see Dusty. Do you guys- Oh, there he is! I never see the eyes! Oh! Is Alex better if you're a boy player? I always play a girl. One of these days I'll play a boy. And I think- I think I play the girl because I heard that if you play the girl you get, like, money, but if you play the boy you get cookies or something. Here we go. Willie. I would marry Willie. I would. I would. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Finally good to meet ya. 
That's my really bad pirate um, accent. Hi. I say arg, arg. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. I don't even know what accent that is. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> My willy is terrible. <laughs> it was a big haul. <laughs> he turned southern. What? Arr, I sold a lot of good fish. <laughs> I do want him to call me Lass. I do. <laughs> and will he or won't he? Um, that's a very good question. Nicket is telling the, uh, telling the good questions today. <laughs> Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. I like he buys a new rod and he gives me his old one. And you know what? I'm okay with that. That's recycling. I'm good with that. Here. I want you to have me old fishing rod. You know you can't say my to say me. Me old fishing rod. <laughs> it's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey! Maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm hilarious too. We have so much in common. <laughs> hammy downs? I'm gonna say I'm gonna go back up to the hammy downs. They are a lifesaver and it's recycling and it's not polluting. And I, I admire that in Willie, not polluting the environment by throwing his old pole away. I do wish it was a little better, because uh well I'll I'll show you. I'll show you how well I fish here. <laughs> Ding! I've received a bamboo pole. Yay! There's good water in the valley. All kinds of fish. I almost making myself laugh. <laughs> Terrible accent. See, this is what my deity players have to put up with. They have to put up with this. This is so... <laughs> I, I'm so oh I'm so bad. Did I tell you that all all my dwarves have have a, a Texan accent because I don't know how to do a Scottish accent and so I made them all Texan. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I also buy anything you catch. Yeah, he does. He does, and he doesn't try to sell it and fleece people and you know stuff oh it's like your like your real life grandpa i love that i love that yeah i i love i do i seriously i would i would definitely marry willie if he was a marriageable character if it smells it sells <laughs> hey, hey, hey. that's what me old pappy used to say anyway oh yeah <laughs> smoking his pipe Love him. I love Willie so much. I think Willie just makes me happy. Okay, here we go. I, I have this much health. And I don't think I can eat these. I, I have no energy. So we're going to hope we catch something and not die. What, what number is it? 12. I think it's 15 to cast. Does anyone remember? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. I hope we catch something. Because I'm going to die otherwise. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No! No, no, okay. I always forget how before you get the, the higher rods, like the fiberglass, so you can't put bait on it. It just takes forever. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot the first fish is always a freebie, isn't it? La la la, because you can't, you can't, you can't mess up with the first one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this? This is how bad I fish. Sardine! Look at that! Look at that. I forgot how to eat. We're eating it. Raw sardines. Yum. All right, let's do it again. 
Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, thank you. 12 energy fishing. Okay. So I have like a... Uh, this is it. I can't, I can't mess this up. Okay. Okay. Okay, chat. Give me all the luck. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need all this luck. All of it. <laughs> I need it so much. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, all the stress. Oh, oh, uh, oh my gosh, I did good. See, thank you for the luck. <laughs> all right. I got one more cast and I can eat this guy and get two. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, uh, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Walk it off. Oh, look at this. Do you guys call those worms? The little the little things? Do you guys call them worms? I think everybody does. Uh, I like to call them wiggle sticks. Because I think that they were wiggle sticks. Yeah. I prefer to fish up in, in the mountain lake way at the top. Because for some reason, I think those fish... Did I get everything over here? I think those fish... Oh, nope, I didn't. Are the best. Like, like I, I don't... I could catch them easier. Yeah. Yeah. Did we say hello to him? Hello, Elliot, my future husband. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. But if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Aww. Why <laughs> odd? He just sounds like he aww. Let me go. Oh yes, I am Bree's mom. Like, in real life, actual gave birth. She is the fruit of my womb. Thanks, Jass. <laughs> Jass says it all. So, so I am, like, this is not like a VTuber mom does the art mom things mom. It's, it's a, it's a, a, a she's like, legit my daughter. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jess today. They are a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. I value Penny. Yes, yes. And and I am your mother now. Um, um, you, you are now all my children. Unless you're my age, and then you're like my bestie. There we go. We'll do it that way. <laughs> I'll be your mom, even if you're older than me. <laughs> Our. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm your mom now. I will love you. And, and I will I will cherish you and I will tell you good things about yourself and I will give you lots of uh, uh, positivity. I think you deserve positivity. Yeah. I will be your penny, okay? Sigh. Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. I don't... I remember correctly, Bree doesn't like being called a dad. She likes being called a mom, so... I think that's how it is. I don't. I don't remember. I'm not allowed to watch her streams. Um, I am forbidden from watching her streams. She's. <laughs> she doesn't trust me. All right, let's take a look and see who we need to talk to still. Because I've just been chatting with you, and I wanna. I wanna see. Let's go scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Okay. Oh my, we haven't done a lot, have we? Look at we. What time is it? 5.30. We missed. Darn it, we can't go see Clint. Uh, Haley, we might be able to see. Is it... They came... Shane's out? Uh, yeah, wow. Oh, Gus. You know what? Let's just go see Gus, because we'll get a couple of these in there. We'll just do that. We'll do that. So if I'm your mom, then that means Bree is your sister. Is that right? Is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Dino is the crazy aunt. <laughs> that means I'm the crazy aunt to any of you who have children. Um, so in the future, keep that in mind. If you ever, you know, decide to procreate, then I'm going to be your crazy aunt in the future. Or grandma. Uh, whatever I'll be. I'll be whatever you need me to be. I'm good. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chief and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. That's that's my cowboy talk right there. He's my cowboy talk. Here we go. Hey, kid. 
Her name's Pam. She always sounds like she's going to sell you something. <laughs> she's like, she just sounds like, I got something out back I want to show you. That's what she always sounds like. Hey, bonus. Shane. What? What you want? Go away. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Run right through you. Run right through him. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up and uh, and uh, go see if we can't find... Um, what's her name? I just forgot her name. It starts with an M. Why did I forget her name? You know who I'm talking about. The one Demetrius loves. Why did I forget her name? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Head up, head up, head up, head up, head up, 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 up. I heard. Oh, hello, Sebastian. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Cool. You know, he says that, right? He's cool. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Can we, is she in her room? She's not. Do you think she's in the kitchen? She's in the kitchen! Maru. Oh! Aren't you the one who just moved in? I mean, seriously? She's like so super observant. You know. You know she knows who. She, you know she's like, like, like totally like stalks you on the internet. She's done like that whole Google search thing. She's paid the extra dollars to get like your, uh, your stuff. <laughs> like your address. And you know, they always tell you like pay $50 and we'll give you like someone's arrest record or whatever. You know, she did it. She did it. Yeah. All right, those of you leaving, good night. Thank you so much. We're going to keep on playing this. This is Maru. I've been looking forward to meet you. Yes, yes, I know you have. She's probably, like, stalked everything that I'm on. Just a whole, like, wall. <laughs> and I'm not being funny about that. I'm not saying Maru's a bad person. What I am saying is that Maru, Maru knows. She's smart. She knows to, like, find out what's what. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, did Brie come in? Did I miss that? <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> Where is she? There she is. Hey, I'm totally talking smack about you. Uh, yeah, so see, I'm playing Stardew because I can get it to work on OBS, but apparently I can't get everybody who wants to go to the Rapture to work. It doesn't like me. So, uh, that, that's where I am in my life. I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> and I get everyone on my side. <laughs> you were sleeping? Oh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, now I feel torn because you never sleep. And, and I feel bad because you were sleeping and you should sleep. Oh, uh, okay. I only feel a little bad. I'm glad. Do you feel better? Did you hydrate? Oh, speaking of hydrate, everybody hydrate. Wait, gonna get some water. Getting some water. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. I always drink water out of a bottle with the lid that you twist on so that way I won't spill it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play Stardew, and then and then we'll figure uh, figure it out later. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I tried running it like 50 times. I spent 45 minutes, and then I just, you know, had a nervous breakdown. And then and then I was like, you know what? This is the universe telling me just to play Stardew. That's what it was. That's what it was. Just the universe, because it was sad. So I feel bad now. But I need to, I need help because this Thursday, when when I'm playing uh, Outer Wilds, that has got to work, absolutely. So I need help. I need help with that. So I'm, I'll, I will, I will, I will, I will talk to you tomorrow. I will call you because I am your birth mother, and you are the fruit of my womb. Oh yeah, I changed the title of my stream. Wait, let's see if I can do that. Oh oh oh, edit. Um, uh, uh, Stardew 
because I can't do the OBS thing playthrough. I didn't even think about it. Thank you. See, you do help me. <laughs> okay. Night, Bree. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I forgot to pause it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's getting dark. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm panicking. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got to get to bed before I die and nobody disappears. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Look at that. And like that, we have level one foraging. This is what I was really looking for. This is what I love. I love me some field snacks. I mean, not in real life. No, not in real life. In real life, they're crunchy and they get stuck in my teeth. And I mean, I like I like the chewy granola bars. Do you guys like the chewy granola bars? <laughs> Thank you, Bree. Love you. So our, our spirits are annoyed today, and luck will not be on our side. Not a good garbage can day. Nope, not a good garbage can day. And it's raining. You know what else I like about the, 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 the this new farm is the fact that we get this dresser. So we can put our clothes in it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's go take care of our babies. Let's get over here and take care of our babies. Good morning, sweet things. Ah, hello, Nugget. Hello, Pigeon 2. There we go. There's our egg. Yeah. And so you don't ma get mad at me. I will look at my angry thing. We need to build the silo. Now, if I remember correctly, we need five copper, which means I have to go in the mine. So we'll just keep gathering raw materials until then. And we need to reach level one farming. So probably, probably she gets some seeds. Let's go do that today. It's raining, so I don't have to water anything. That will save on energy. And we're going to go visit Gunther. Do you guys say Gunther or Gunther? I say Gunther. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. And now we got our hundred for getting started. Yeah. Alrighty. Two people left. Two people left. Bye, my cheeky babies. Bye. All right. We're going to save these because we might want to eat these. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. We can't do much except I know way down here is where there's water. There's water down here. And this is where we're going to build our little place of um, building this the word there we go look at that see that right there this is farmable land right here this is where we have our best place for our farm because then then we can uh, uh have the water to water it yep because you need water to water <laughs> i missed is gunther european bias i i i think you're right I think you're right. This is this is my first my first time playing Stardew with you. My first game ever with you, but not my first time playing Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley. It is one of my favorite games. It lives rent free in my head. I listen to the music when I travel in the car. I compare everything to it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those really weird people who just overly love it. Overly love it. Yeah, it's like the best. All right. I think we're good. Let's go up here. Let's clear our way up to the top. So uh, later on, when I have to run for it, we can get there without bad stuffs. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to go get some uh, uh, seats. We're going to get some seats. And we don't need to worry about our watering can because it's raining today. So it's a perfect day to go do this. Oh, whoa, wiggle sticks! Wiggle sticks, wiggle sticks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're on the coal. I can't run into a fence. <laughs> yes, I should not drive. 
Ooh, have you guys seen these? Oh, I love these. These are like the ones you get the good stuff. Bam, right there. I have not gotten carrots. Oh, wait, no. No, I have gotten carrots. Sorry. I have. I'm still excited I got carrots. Anything up here? Nope. All right. I'm going to have to cough. I'll hold on and see if I can mute. Oh. Okay. Let me know if I coughed because I tried to mute that so I wouldn't cough. <laughs> Your ear. Here we go. I love me some carrots. Alrighty. We're going to go to Pierre because he's cheap. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh. Oh. My gosh. I forgot it's Wednesday. I forgot. It's Wednesday. Dang it. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't hear my cough. Good. That mean I hit the right mute button then. Woo! Successful mute! Let's go. Here we go. Man, I'm so angry about that. Hello, evil capitalists. Have you guys seen this? I haven't I haven't purchased this yet, so I don't know what's what's in here. Alrighty. We'll just get some parsnips. And and we're gonna get some beans. And and we're gonna get do we have enough money for cauliflower? Oh well, there's four fifty. And then we're gonna get some potatoes. I think that's all we need for the um for the, for the thing, for the thing, yeah? So now we're just gonna fill up on those, whatever's left. All right, here we go. We had to spend more money, but hey, bonus. Pierre didn't get our money, so ha ha, Pierre, joke's on you. Joke's on you. I don't know what's in it, but there's somebody on Reddit, on the Stardew Valley subreddit, who got, who got the catalog and they went into Pierre's store and then they actually um, like decorated his whole store with Pierre stuff or sorry with Joja stuff so it was like blue carpet blue signs they had the Joja little like uh, coke machine thingy the jo Joja cola machine it was hysterical I thought it was so funny I was like yeah that's right yeah okay here we go down we go I keep also forgetting I don't have the uh the thingy. Unique. Alrighty. Do you, do you also do things in like threes so you can stand in one spot in water? Yes, I do. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's put the beans here out of the way. Out of the way. Get those beans out of the way. Potato there. Love the potato. We're going to do lots of, uh, 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 what's this stuff called? Parsnip. So if you plant like five or six seeds together and then you leave a big gap and you plant five or six seeds together uh, and then you, you keep doing that and plant it like some over here and some over there and you just keep planting it in like other places, uh, apparently you don't get crows. Apparently. They only go when there's a bulk. And here I am doing it in bulk. But I am going to get rid of these so they don't go on top my... Uh, stuff here and ruin it for me. We don't want it to ruin it for me. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Leave the blue. So hopefully if I get rid of enough of this stuff around, ah, then, uh, then, then I don't have to worry about, um, 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 uh, things growing into my garden and, and eating my vegetables. Because that's the worst. When you get that little notice in the middle of the night, like, oh, some weeds have spread and ruined your whole garden. And you go outside and something like that you really desperately need, like the rare seed or something, is gone. And you're like, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot for nothing. I hate that. <laughs> I'm probably telling you a lot of stuff that you already know. So. But if you don't know, now you do. See? That's how we that's how we learn. We share information. We share lots of information. 
think sharing information is a good thing. That's how we keep on learning. It's important to keep learning. Otherwise, your brain goes like really crusty. You don't want a crusty brain. You want to be like like that old person who uh, in, in the old folks home who's like up dancing and going out. And every time they score bingo, they're like, yeah, bingo. No, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do starve the crows. There we go. I think we're doing good. So the question is, do we sell our eggs? I don't know. It's a tough thing. If we sell them, they're good energy. Maybe we should bring them and eat them and clear. So, yeah. Let's do that. Let's, let's eat them and clear. Let's go so on some clearage. Let's go on some big clearage. See if we can get to the end of the week. We're on Wednesday. Let's see if we can get to the end of the week. Alrighty. I also love it when you catch all the like the the pine cones and and the acorns and stuff, and you can make the the really crunchy Nature Valley granola stuffs. It's the best. Oop. There we go. I'm gonna get different kinds of trees so we can make sure we get the different kinds of seeds. <laughs> Right. I was feeling exhausted, and then I ate a raw egg. And now, dun dun dun, I got 56 health. All right, let's go. Here we go. We're going to chop the different trees down, because that way we can get the different little thingies. Should I say 100%? Because I haven't said that like in five seconds. <laughs> we gotta chop all the different trees down, 100%. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, it's shaking. My little face. Oh, I'm exhausted. I went too far. La la la. Okay. The punishment, the punishment for overexerting yourself is you have to walk so slow. You have to walk so slow. So damn slow. This is the most painful part. But it's early days. It's the first week. Yeah. I, mean, I know. I chop down trees all the time. Um, and eat raw eggs all the time. I'm lying. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I like my eggs soft boiled. And I like to take little pieces of like toast. And I like to like dip them in my, on my half, my half cooked egg. Yeah. I don't like raw eggs. I like them with the yolk super duper runny. When I make ramen, I like to put a raw runny egg on top of it. So good. So good. Okay, I got one of these. I got one of these. One of these. Now we're going to make Nature Valley Granola Bar. Right there. It's even in the green. It's even You, you knew. You knew Concerned Ape was thinking about that when he made these. Yeah. Here we go. And as soon as we get enough stuff, we gotta get our silo, and then we gotta make our mayonnaise machine so we can drink the mayo. That's our jobs. We gotta drink the mayo. <laughs> nom 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 nom. All right, let's take our exhausted stuff. This is like, this is like me in real life. Six thirty. <laughs> Six thirty and exhausted. <laughs> Six thirty and exhausted. Yep. I gotta tell you, I love ramen. I do. I do. It is so good. I'm a, I'm a, in general, I'm a soup person though. I love, I love all soup, like all types of soups in general. So good. Like, do you ever have hot pot? Do you ever go for hot pot? Love hot pot. It's just, it's just a fun way of eating ramen, basically. Sort of. Keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today, day, day, and check out our affordable 24 backpack. See you soon. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Happy days. First, let's go take care of our little cheeky babies, because we love those. And then we're going to go water some stuff do our responsibilities. 
hot pot. I would definitely go do hot pot sometime. There's it's, it's just it's just the community way of eating that's so fun. Good morning, Nugget. Good morning, Pigeon. Do. a good birthday trip is is to go get hot pot on your birthday uh yeah yeah if you haven't tried hot pot definitely go do it um we i loved it so much we actually got one of those uh the those little like burners that you have uh dirt 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 i can't remember the name it's the, it's the eye induction is that it where it's like cool to the touch and it cooks with magnets that yeah yeah <laughs> you know what pierre Pierre's smart. He doesn't email you, so you can't unsubscribe. You have to, like, it comes in the mail, and you're forced to, like, use them. Yeah. Also, Concerned Ape put this stone right here. This boulder? He put that right there just to annoy me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, but I bought, I bought, I'm sorry, I just bought a burner. I bought those little burners and so I can stick my pans on there and we do hot pot at home because for us, the, the, the Breeze and I, and, and of course the, the other parent in the family, I got to find a good name for him because <laughs> I can't call him, I can't, Papa, we'll call him uh, Papa Cookie because Dada, I think is weird. Papa Cookie. Yes. Uh, so so we, we do hot pot at New Year's. That's our New Year thing. We do hot pot and then we get a chocolate fountain and we have chocolate and cheese fondue and hot pot. It was it's the dip. It's the dip day. It's the dip day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Mm, I love I, I love Korean food. I got to tell you, like it's so yum. I will. I am. I am a kimchi fan. I gotta tell you, I am. I am. So I learned something new because obviously, like, I'm just a white person, and we grew up with you know, uh, pancakes and bacon and all the other stuff you put in your stomach. That is probably a bad thing to put in your stomach when you first wake up in the morning. But if you eat things like kimchi or I believe it's natto, is that how you pronounce it? That you get like all those good probiotics first thing in the morning that makes your tummy feel really good yeah so uh that's a good thing to eat so sometimes in the morning i'll get my little like a uh, ramen bowl the little you know just add water and i'll throw some kimchi in it throw like throw like a an egg in it and a couple of bits of vegetables whatever's in the fridge and i'll have that for breakfast and i tell you it works i do feel better i really do i do it's certainly much better than like pancakes and 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 uh and and uh, um, um um bacon i'm exhausted already already see i do not think pancakes are breakfast food at all i think pancakes are dinner i think pancakes are things that you want to eat for dinner that you want to put in your tummy and you want to get cozy and warm and you want to just be like yeah i'm happy now that's what pancakes are. That's why I eat waffles for dinner. That's why I eat waffles for dinner because I I like to I like to have like the yummy warm good for you foods. That's what I like. Just so you know, pancakes are dinner food, not breakfast. I will dis pancakes for breakfast. Opinions on cheesecake? Cheesecake is delicious. Again, not a pie. Yeah, yeah. I like I like them for breakfast. I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I'm clearing my stuff. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing? Oh, look at our energy. Let's get some more energy. Whoa, that's not getting energy. <laughs> Chicken and waffles is lunch. Yeah. You know, honestly, let's just face it. Waffles in general, it, anything with waffles is good. Uh, I love though, like that really thick, chunky gravy that white gravy oh that's so good so good love it uh so have you guys ever asked brie about the creme brulee experience <laughs> i don't know if she's ever told you i i i learned how to cook recently like in the last 15 20 years so it's not that recent but considering more than half my life had gone by and i couldn't even like boil water and, and i learned how to cook 
and and I learned how to make creme brulee. And I was so proud of myself that I made it every day for 45 days. Yep. We had creme brulee every day for 45 days uh, because yippee! <laughs> There's your autism for ya. So I did that. And to this day, Brie will not eat creme brulee because she would rather, she'd rather die. <laughs> I could eat the leek and I could eat the wild horseradish, but um, they're great gifts because Crobus loves horseradish and uh, Grumpy George loves leek. So I want to keep those for them. So I'm going to keep trying to make my Nature Valley granola bars, but I see, I see that I'm missing one. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Brie is not scared of boiling water because of me. At least I don't think so. I have bad, I have bad, I have a, I have a horror story about boiling water. Do you want to hear my horror story about boiling water? It's, it's scary. It's really scary. Very scary story. Oh man was hoping that I because this was a pine like tree I get a pine cone I need a pine I need a pine cone ah I need a pine cone I need a pine cone I need to make some nature valley granola bars <laughs> here yeah we did it here's our granola bar okay so here's my story Chat's a little slow on my side because my, my, my thing is really laggy today. Um, so here's my story of what happened with, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Let's go have some story time. Here we go. Here's what we need. We need to have story time. No. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Here we go. Story time. Okay. Here we go. So long, 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 long time ago, my mom had this obsession with uh, iced tea. This is, this is a bad, this is a bad story. So, so uh, I'm trigger warning this. This is gruesome. Okay. Just keeping that in mind. All right. When you see me get off this chair, you know, the story is gone and you can, you can put your, if you're going to mute it, you can unmute it then. Okay. So my mom was obsessed with, with iced tea. And, 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 um, so the way you make iced tea is you get some tea bags and you add some boiling water. And she had this big, big, big 20 gallon bottle, like jar thing that she made pickles in. And she would put her iced tea in there. And then so what we do. So I had to put the boiling water in, like stand on this little stool and pour the boiling water in and make like 20 gallons of iced tea at a time. Like that is how much, that is how much she loved iced tea. 100%. So, yeah, you see where this is going, don't you? Well, this was a glass thing, and sometimes when glass gets old, it breaks. Oh, yeah, it breaks. So, one day, I uh, picked up the, uh, the the big pot of, of the big, huge canning kettle, and and I, um, I, I poured it into the jar, and the jar broke. And all of the, the, the bottom of the ball just whoosh, shattered shatter shattered how old was i i was like 14 so like it, i wasn't a small child i was i was i was a medium child i was 14 oh strawberry i hope you feel better strew sorry strawberry so it broke and and all the hot boiling water came whoosh across the counter right on top of me yep on top of my tummy and i was this was this was back in the day and I was wearing my little like pull on shorts with the elastic waist. And, and do you know, uh, you know what happens when you get, get elastic boiling hot with boiling hot water? It, it melts. Yeah. Yeah. So I melted it. My pants melted my shorts. I should say melted to my tummy and I had horrific burns on my tummy and it was terrible. It was terrible. I'm gonna have to cry on this one. It was so sad. It was, I had to go to the hospital. I had bad 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 burns i had i had scars on, i still have scars on my tummy from it yeah yeah it was awful it was awful and uh and and so i don't ever make anything boiled in in a cup so if you offer me a cup of tea 
and the cup of tea comes in a, like a thick, heavy mug, I will drink it. I'm good with that. I will do it. But if it comes in a glass, like a little glass coffee cup thing, I can't drink it. Nope. Nope. Can't drink it. I, I have trauma. I have trauma. Trauma over that. Yeah. Yeah. There's my sad story. That That's why. So, I don't know. The pants are not melted to my tummy, but I still have the scar from it. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's 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 me telling you the mild version because it's it was bad. Yeah. Yeah. So so there's trauma. Trauma comes in interesting ways, doesn't it? Yep. So no clear no clear mugs in my house. All all of my mugs for teas or coffees or hot cocos or hot vanillas. All of those they they come in a really thick like those really thick clay based ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um I think every VTuber has trauma. I think that's a requirement. You have to have trauma and neurodivergencies. That's like the rule. You 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 know, you're not allowed to be rigged if you don't have trauma and and uh neurodivergency. It's like a requirement. I think same thing with D D. You gotta have both for D D as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hot vanilla. Hot vanilla. Okay, you're in for a cheat. So um you t- you take you take some milk. Okay, take some milk and then you add some sugar, like a good few spoons. Nom, 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 nom. Love sugar. It's got to be sweet. It's got to be sweet. And you add some vanilla, like a teaspoon of vanilla. Yep. Yep. And then you warm it up and you drink it. And it kind of tastes like a hot chocolate version of whipped cream. It, it's it's really good. It's really good. If it tastes like milk, you didn't make it right. You got to add more sugar and more vanilla. Yeah. You should try one. It's so good. So good. Love me a hot vanilla. Mom, 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 mom. Don't forget, I, I'm not a big fan of chocolate, so I don't like cocoa. I drink hot vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Always a sugar. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let me get off my chair now. There we go. So those of those, those of you who decided to like, <laughs> wait, unmute. You're unmute. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. You know, I, I, I have, I did not make sun tea and my mom always said sun tea will give you bacteria. And, um, honestly, I think sun tea never would have hurt me. So we should have made sun tea. There's a different flavor to sun tea. I do like it. I do like sun tea. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. As long as it's not in a clear glass. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you're all going to try hot vanilla now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got to try it. So good. It's all good. It it kind of tastes, kind of tastes like a a melted marshmallow, sort of. Or um, yeah, yeah. Scary stories over. Sun tea is when you put a whole bunch of tea bags and a big thing of lukewarm water, and you stick it in the sun, and and you let the sun brew it for I think it's twenty four hours for a very long time. I like cinnamon tea. Uh, what is that tea called? It's from, what's it from? It's from, uh, let's go sit down. Let's talk about tea. Uh, we put, it, it, it's called like spicy sunset or something. I can't remember what it was. It, it's got like a strong cinnamon flavor. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love cinnamon tea. So good. Yeah. I like black teas with milk. That's how I drink my black tea with milk. Yeah. Do you know what? You're you're right. We we could not have made sun tea during the solar eclipse. No. 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 So everyone down in Texas, they could not have their sun tea today. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. We can't drink green tea. I cannot drink green tea. Uh because green tea, uh I have medicine. I have medicine because I also have I don't just have mental problems. No. I have physical problems too. And I have, I have what's called sticky blood. Yep. I have sticky blood and, and I have an autoimmune disorder that makes, makes me clot, gives me lots of clots. So it's great. I don't want to cut my fingers. Boom. Instant scab. No bloods, no pains, no need for band-aids. Nope. nope. It's like a superpower, but uh, green tea makes it bad. Green tea makes it dangerous. Yeah. So I, I can't, I can't drink green tea, which is sad because it smells good. 
it smells good. I want to drink green tea. Also, also, because, because I have that blood thingy, um, I, I can't eat Brussels sprouts, which I know, I know, I know sounds bad, but Brussels sprouts are my favorite. No, I don't have hemophilia. I don't have hemophilia. It's actually called antiphospholipid syndrome. <laughs> it's a long word. It's the opposite. It's the opposite of hemophilia. Hila, 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 mila, 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 mila. Yeah. All right. What day are we? We are on Friday. Do we have a? Oh, it's Thursdays. Thursdays. Yeah, I could clot for everybody. <laughs> Hippophobia. <laughs> I'm going to start calling it that. Yeah. To our value Jojo Mart customer. Yeah, see? This is what happens when you buy seeds there. Yeah, you get on that mailing list. They never leave you alone. Nope. Our team members have removed the... Oh. 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 You know what this means. You know what this means. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not Monday. It's Mom Day! It's Mom Day! Thrombophilia. You guys are so smart with the words. Heck, yeah. Okay. Okay. We have to hurry. We have to hurry, because... Oh, ah, 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 ah. Okay. 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 Nugget. Pigeon 2? Good. Yeah. Oh, oh. Over here. Sticky blood. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, here we go, here we go. Mom day! No, no, no. I'm all excited because we can go into the mines. I love the mines. I am terrible at the mines. I am the worst, the worst miner of the mines. So bad. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. You see this? You see this? Yeah, we need those. Yeah, we need those. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, so excited, so excited. Mine day. Heck yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh. I tell you, I've been up since. I told y'all I, I was up since 4 a.m. And, and it's like, what time is it now? Oh, don't even look at the clock. It's too late. My brain is literally turning to oatmeal right now. <laughs> all right here we go we, we took care of our we took care of our chickies we need eggs we need all the eggs we took care of our chickies and one 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 we can make um we can we can make a um nature valley granola bar oh and we know what we need to do we need to we need to make a, a chest no ah ah, ah! We're doing it wrong. Nature Valley granola bar. There we go. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? I yearn for the mines. <laughs> Should I hold it over my head? Here we go. I have the egg. <laughs> here we go. We'll take that. We'll take that for George. Grumpy George. Remember, George is not mean. George is suffering from chronic pain. And people who suffer from chronic pain are really crabby. Because they just they just can't handle it anymore. They just can't. And so, uh, you know, he, he just he just needs a little bit of uh, understanding. A little bit of love. A little bit of love and understanding. Right. I love Marlin. Mm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. Totally innocent. Do you wanna do you wanna look down? Stand right right here in front of me. <laughs> It's been abandoned for decades, despite the fact the ladder is in perfect condition. Still, 
there's probably good ore down there. And monsters, but I won't tell you about those. <laughs> but a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing that you'll find. Dun dun dun! Take this. Okay. Okay. Did Kurt Sergate did sort of base this off Link? Because, you know, you know, it's dangerous to go in that mine. Here, take this. I, I think it was. I think it was. Yeah. Aw, oh, Nate. Nate needs a hug. That's what you need. Seriously. Things are hard. Things are hard. All right. You might need it. I do. Thank you for my broken sword. It's Rusty. I mean, I understand that he likes me, but I don't know. My name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. Yes. Yes, you do. Keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Yeah. Do you know it's funny? Because I was watching... Uh... Uh, Malkir's uh, uh, stream doing the um, speedrun of Zelda. I remember how long it took me to play Zelda. Like, hey, Bubble! Like 600 million hours! 600. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, no, hour and a half, boom, done. Right through. It was impressive. Okay. He's gonna make me a member. Yeah! I have the chest! I like to put it right there. And we're gonna put all the stuff that we don't need. We don't need this, but we do need that. Don't need this, this, or this. This stuff we need. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of some of this. Because, uh, we want space to hold things. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I like speedrunning. I'm terrible. I could, clearly, we've been playing for like a couple hours and I'm barely in the first week. I am terrible. I'm like the opposite of speedrunning. But he is a, he's a good speedrunner. I was, I was very impressed. I was like, dang. Here's a fun tip I found out. That these little, these little gray blocks here, like, like, like this one, the ones that look like this. These are the only ones that you get um, mining points for when you're in the mines. Like, they go towards your, your, your improving your stats. Yeah. I tell you. I, I was very impressed. Okay. Here we are. Uh, we forgot to check today's, um, I was so excited. I forgot to check today's, uh, fortunes and judging by the fact that I have broken nearly every rock and now I finally find a ladder, it's probably a bad luck day. Probably a bad luck day. Yeah. Not good. I like watching King's Quest, King's Quest speedruns because I'm weird like that. And I'll watch like really old ones too that are like a hundred years old. <laughs> I don't know why. I just find them because they're, the games are so broken. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Boop. Boop. We got some new ideas to sleep on. Yay. So I discovered that that if you wait, like, you know, you're fishing and you're your level four and you get that. I got some new ideas to sleep on. You don't you, you save your fish. That day, because that that day, then you wake up, you'll be level five, and uh, I hate this one. And then that means that you're gonna get like um, extra money. How are we doing on our energy? Okay, we're doing good. Here we go. I think no matter what you have, there will be a speedrunner for it. Like literally, you'd be amazed what people speedrun. It, it's like everything has a speedrun. Uh, 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 uh. He won't die. 
This slime won't die. I forgot how terrible this sword is. Oh, I got cherry bomb. We're just going to use it right away because we're in a bad, bad day. There we go. Woo. Now we got a geode. Yeah. You know what? The old King's Quest were, were very janky. You could walk off a ledge and die. And I think they did it on purpose. And they had some really like weird puzzles that didn't make any sense. You're like, oh, how, how in a million years would you ever discover this? But there's just something about him that was so comforting, I guess. Is that the right word I'm looking for? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I could never speedrun Baldur's Gate 3. Never. Never. There's so much to do, and I get distracted by literally everything. Absolutely everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to get through five levels, but uh, sorry. Look at this. We can get our silo. We, we, we need to get 20 to build the, the thingy that makes the things. That's a, that's official term, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Now we go down, we go down, we go down. There we go. Okay. So, uh, uh, I, uh, 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 I'm sorry, I got so distracted by all of those, like, coppers. I was so excited. How are we doing? Oh, we're getting low on health. Oh, we have a cave carrot. Do we eat it? Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Yeah. Yeah. The one King's Quest, though, I did not like was the one with, what's his face? What's that owl? Oh, no. Like that owl. A poisonous snake. He's terrible. He sounds just like that. If you've never played King's Quest, yeah, that that's that's what he sounds like. Oh, no. A poisonous snake. Oopsie, I need to eat that. Um, so Baldur's Gate 3, I have I have the hardest time playing that game because I want to go in every building and I want to go down like every every alley and I want I want to do everything. I want to do everything in that game. All of it. All of it. And if I find out from someone else that I missed something, I get angry. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I even I don't have no idea how I finished it. Cedric! That's his name. Number five. Oh no! A poisonous snake. Ah. How are we doing? 3 p.m. Okay. So here's some news. I have 13 coins to my name. You know what that means? That means if I were to, you know, fall asleep in the mines uh, and they were to charge me money, my, my, my amount is so low, it would be zero. It would be zero. So I'm just going to play till I, till I fall asleep, till I pass out. <laughs> Slimes hard. Slimes are so hard. You know what I find the hardest? The flying bugs. I can kill bats, but flying bugs? Nope. Can't do it. Can't, they're just so hard for me. I get hit all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Aha! See this crab? You think one of them will give us the crab so we can save it for the community center? I hope so. I hope so. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, you don't lose items when you faint. You only lose money. You lose items when you die. So if the monsters get you, then you lose your items. But not if you faint. The only bad thing is I, I left my, like, tools. How low are we? I left my tools upstairs and uh, in the in the thing. So right before 2 o'clock, I have to make sure that I put my, um, my, my, whatever I took, like my axe and hoe and all that to make sure I take that with me. Then I can just fall asleep. And I get a free ride home. Yeah. Air today, gone tomorrow is a good King's Quest game, too. It was. I like the third ones because it had, um, you don't play the, the standard line. You start off in a little wizard's place. Okay. Wish me luck. This is a star-headed guy. He's forever hard to kill, but we can usually get some cool stuff. 20 bucks says we get something like shoes. We don't get a good weapon. But, let's see. Oh, oh. So hard. I'm just gonna stand here. <gasps> I got a club. It's slow though. I can't kill. Uh, I can't kill slimes with a club. I'm not that good. Oh man. Oh man. It's okay. Uh, I can't kill slimes with that. With the uh, sword either. Apparently. What? Oh wait. Right. Have you seen this? 
Have you seen this before? I've never seen this. I, I have never... Uh... I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. Oh my gosh. I think I'm in love. This hat, this hat is mine forever. This hat is mine forever and ever, ever. Oh my gosh. Look how great I look. I think that's a propeller. Like it spins. I mean, it doesn't spin here, but oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ape. Thank you so much. It is a party now. <laughs> hey. Okay. It is party time in the mines. Eat my raw ah, ah, ah. Eat my raw eggs, die into a crab. E e e Oh no. <laughs> okay, I haven't had a crab yet. It's not fun. Oh no. Here we go. I have to go up here and kill him. So, I like to get really close and just keep whacking at him so they can't jump on you. Go. I also I also admit I love the squelching noise they make. I think it's great. I think the squelching is the best. Oops. Yeah. Uh do we care about this? No, we don't care about that, do we? We don't we don't we don't we don't. Because we're gonna get so much, so much sap. So much sap. Boop. But that's what we do care about. We care about this. Because now, what level are we on? Eight. That's off my screen. You can't see it. We're at eight. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Think we're going to make it to ten? It is 8.50 p.m. We're on level eight. We can do this. We, we, we can. We can. You know what? I, I want to do chomp on the slimes. Oh, look at this! Boom! <gasps> that was, that was, that was the, the choir of angels singing right there. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I got a party hat. I got my leather boots. We are in business. We are in the business. Okay, it is 9.30. We, I'm saving this. I don't like the wood club for slimes. Nope. I like them when like they're slower moving things because they're good, good, yeah. I want to chomp the slimes. Nom nom nom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What do we need? Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. You know what? We'll go down. We'll see how far we get, and we'll come back up. Yep. <laughs> ah, you're doing it. You know what? Good for you for doing your assignments. Are you are you finishing up school? Your school semester's almost over. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Here we go. Uh, this is where the insects appear, doesn't it? This is where we start getting the flying insects. This is where little diggies are. The little dig duggies, dugs, digger, digger, duggers. I don't see one in here. Do you ever just walk through and make sure you get all the good, like, like make sure you got this stuff? See, it is a bad day. Bad luck day. There's no, like, treasure up here. No, like, little things. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so bad at this one. Oh, just stop killing me. Please don't let me die. Oh, God, there's two of them. Run. Run. <laughs> Run. Ah. How do I get out of here? Ah. Die, die. Don't let me go. Let me get you. I'm a big chicken! <laughs> I'm a big chicken! Oh my gosh, I'm a big chicken. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. We have to make decisions now. What we're gonna bring home. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring our axe and we're gonna bring our tools. We have to do that. That's super big, super big decision. Important. Food can stay here. Yep, yep. Uh we need this. We need this. We need this. We only have so much space, and that's it. Uh, let's, let's bring some eggs. Oh, no, let's see the eggs here so we can eat them. We'll bring the seeds. Yeah. 
You had to write a movie review and that's all you had to write? That's, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, that sounds like a fun homework assignment. I like writing. You all know I write. So I love writing. Writing makes me happy. Hey, well, was the movie good? Was the movie good? Are you say, did it, yes, I said you, you know, if you sent me a request, I haven't seen it because I cannot multitask. So if you sent it during stream, I, um, I, I, I won't see it. <laughs> I won't see it until later because I'm like that. Okay. How are we doing? We are coming home. Almost at the end of the week. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was scary in those mines. I gotta tell you, I love them, but but I'm also a big chicken baby when it comes to um, when it comes to stuff. Oh, oh, you know what? We could sell this. We could sell this. We could sell this. Uh, anything else we can sell? I think that's it. That's all we want to sell right now. We want to make some money, so we can just give it to Pierre. Just give it to Pierre. I don't have homework yet. Ah. <laughs> Why I do look smug, don't I? Yeah, what movie did you review? What is the movie? What movie did you review? Was it a good movie? I can make cherry bombs. I can make cherry bombs. See, you think Brie gets her noises from being her? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Okay. We are Saturday. Let's focus. We got our party hat on. Let's do some achievements. We need to find Haley and Clint. Okay, so... 2,000 words on the topic transitional justice in relation to I don't know what that word is living together again in R Rwanda the movie was bad no narrative structure or analysis of events ooh ooh that's hard ooh that's hard ah uh, no I need to learn how to read better because I tell you I can't pronounce words you know you know I think there's some merit to a uh, bad makes it uh, makes it easier. Okay, so Haley and Clint, we're gonna go do this. Oh, hey, look, there's Clint. I'm not gonna get credit for it, am I though? Hi, Clint. Nice beard. Nice beard. Yeah, it matches your apron. Yeah, does that mean your apron is made out of your hair? Because that's creepy. I notice you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. How? How does he know? How? How? That's what I want to know. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. I do. I do need a furnace. All this coal I've been finding around the farm. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. <laughs> it just so happens. I... Oh! Howl's Moving Castle. I forgot to mention that. I saw that. Yes, yes, yes. I did see that. I did see that chat has dibs on Howl. 100%. 100%. I saw that. You all you all have you have dibs on Howl. 100%. Yeah. That was Oh my gosh, that was such a wonderful movie. I just loved that movie so much. It was it was beautiful. I love the castle. I would move in that castle today if I could. Yeah. Chicken legs and all love love the i love the artwork on it i love the colors all the colors in it it was so so good and i loved sophie like how just how compassionate she was she's like my compassion role model yeah 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 dibs 100 percent. you called it yeah calcifer yep yep what was the little dog's name i can't remember his name it's a cute little dog's name. I think I think I'm gonna watch Kiki's Delivery Service next because it involves food, and I love food. So 
So I, I did go onto the Wikipedia after I watched it and I read um, um, about the, um, the story and how the story is, the book is so different than the movie because the movie of Howl's Moving Castle is based on like anti-war and um, the book is based on gender and class struggles. And so I thought that was really good. So I would love to read it with that different tape. So uh, I, w- I definitely want to read the book. So that's that's on my list. Uh, but yeah, I want to watch I want to watch Kiki's next. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, sorry. Get rid of get rid of Clint. Thanks, Clint. Thanks for the blueprint. I can craft a furnace. Thanks, Clint. Thanks. You know what's really bad though is he comes to my house and I don't credit for seeing him, do I? I don't think I do. Let's take a look. Uh oh. Jenny is there. It counts. <laughs> Just gotta do Haley. All right. Hello, Robin. Thank you. I'll take letters from Robin. She tries. She knows my water's way down there. And then I got my 10 slimes things. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> yes, we should recommend, uh, 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 I'm getting caught up on chat. We should recommend, hello, Nugget. Hello, Pigeon Doom. Oh, we should definitely recommend book club. I'm currently reading uh, Good Omens for a book club. And a friend of mine said, I need to read Red, White, and Royal Blue, which is a romance. And I'm reading that book as well. Do you, do you guys read more than one book at a time? Do you read it at the same time? Um, I like to read more than one book because sometimes I just feel like something a little different. So, yeah. Yeah. There we go. There's our eggs. Oops, oops, oops. We need our watering can. We need our watering can. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at my little... So far, I've not had any birds coming and eating uh, these at all. So I, I'm happy about that. But I have a good feeling that my luck is going to run out really quick. Carrots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to read when I was younger and my brain was more limber. I would read like four or five books at a time because I like to jump between them. And um, you know how people like sometimes put their books on the shelf by like say color order, make the rainbow, or they put them like uh, like all of the, by the author together or all the book by like genre together. I used to put all my bookshelves, uh, all my books on my bookshelf in order of how they made me feel. So I, I, uh, I like to do that. And I highly recommend that because sometimes you're like, you know what? I want a book that's going to make me cry today. I want to read a book that's going to make me feel really, really sad and miserable. I just, I just want a good cathartic cry. I just want to get it out. That's what I want to do today. And so you just go to the terribly cry, ugly cry, boogers running down your face section. And then, and there you go. There you go. And then if you've got like a book that I want to laugh, I need to laugh today. And it's really, really funny. Then you, uh, then you go to your funny book section. But I do two at a time now. Two? I swear, I've never realized how many times I say the number two and one, 100%. Two and 100%. My two words now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just sitting here. Just sitting here chilling with the man, Lewis. Oh, look at his face. Look at that. Look at that face. He's so sad. Liar. What an eyesore. Oh. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Oh. Oh, look. Oh. 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 Look at me. Oh. I'm Lewis. I spent all my money on a gold statue of myself. <laughs> yeah, Lewis. Give me a break. I definitely stole two from Brie. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just creatively borrowed. That's right. I just creatively borrowed it. Yep, yep. I have room for lots of books. All by vibe because I have a stupid big house. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love my super big house because someday I'm going to be really old and I'm going to be totally agoraphobic and never leave. And I wanted to have space to do things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. 100%. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be that old lady, that creepy old lady in that house at the end of the street. Yep. Yep. That's me. That's me. This is the Pelican Town Community Center or what's left of it. Oh, Werefish are yours. So so if you are going to play the Werefish in a D&D game, uh, because you know how you have to take your clothes off, they also have to take off their, their weaponry because they're too small. And so uh, they st I had mine stash weapons around. So my, my group would sometimes find weapons in bushes with like clothes and they wouldn't know why. Yeah. From, from the Werefish. <laughs> also, I think you can get like piranhas. They have like a piranha. I don't remember the the D and D fish name, but they have a piranha that you can use. Uh, quipper? I think it's called a quipper. Yeah, I do hand out cool candy in my pockets. Thoughts on spaghetti? I I don't like spaghetti with tomato sauce. I like spaghetti with um just like a yolk of cheese. What is that called? Carbonara, something like that. I like spaghetti with uh, vegetables stir fried in oil. I like. I like tomato sauce on uh, other types of pasta, other shapes of pasta. But you know what I don't like? I don't like, I don't like, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't like Alfredo sauce. Nope. Nope. That's a Brie thing. She can have it. Dr. Pepper and Alfredo sauce are hers. 100%. Oh, oh, fish. Yes. If they were, I, I can never say that word. Is it Locatha? You know, there's so many words in DID. I have no idea how to say them. I just make them up. Oh, let's go back to Lewis here. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. But then I didn't pay for the upkeep. I let the bus crash. I ruined everything. And I kept all the money. Even though you're the only one buying stuff in town from Clint, I still take his tax money. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now just look at it. It's shameful. Yeah, yeah, Lewis. Let's talk about how shameful this is, Lewis. Yeah. <gasps> Roti? Delish. Delish. I have not heard the Alfredo pasta song. No. Yeah. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Do you? Do you? I don't, I don't think that's true, Lewis. I see the young folk of this town all wandering around, exploring playing in the park, going to the library to have school, like the young, young folk, and then like the mid the middle-aged young folk. Yeah. Those people, you know, the ones that are like marriageable candidates, those ones, those young folk, Lewis. Yeah, they're always in town. They shop. They they go for walks in the park. They hang out everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Lewis, Lewis is full of crap. Lewis, you're full of crap. You just want me to do it for you. I will ask about the Alfredo pasta sauce song for Brie when I talk to her tomorrow about how to fix my, my, my game so I can play on Thursday. Yes, Lewis, you do sound like a fool. You sound like a fool who's trying to cheat me out of my money. <laughs> oh. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land. So, do, you, do, you, do you think this is true? <laughs> I don't think so. Good night. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, I think Lewis, I think Lewis is, um, he's actually hounding Joja Corporation. That's what I think. Because, you know, you know, when they buy it to make it into a warehouse. Yeah. You don't see that money either. No, no, you don't. You don't. No. Nope. Pelican Town can use the money. Yeah. Yeah, Lewis. But you should belt down that statue of yours. But there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Look at that. Look at that sad face right there. Sad face. Hello. <laughs> Lewis. Yeah. If anyone else buys the Joja Cole membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you, Lewis? You are. You are. Because they probably said, one more, Lewis. All you need is one more. And he's just, he's actually working for Joja. Yep, he's selling it to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sigh, again. That's a second sigh. Second sigh, Lewis. Yeah, let's go inside. All right, let's go inside, Lewis. Yeah. I 
can't tell. I'm hard on Lewis. I am. He needs to he needs to he needs to learn to behave. Be honest. If he says, you know what, I spend the money. Uh I like to buy fancy things for Marnie, like blue chickens and stuff, I'll be like, yeah, it's okay, you know what? Fine. We can do it. I have gone the Jojo route. I have done the Jojo route all the way through, and I will say it's weird. It's weird. Because you don't get any of the cool stuff. And um it, it's uh, uh, it, it's uh, but I I think I do like about it is is that if you go the Jojo route, you get both because Pierre stays open and on Wednesdays, so everybody's open, and then Jojo Mart's open till like eleven p.m. and their prices match Pierre's, so you get way better seed purchases later on and when you want them, like not just in the morning, and 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 that means the movie theater goes here where where this community center is, which I think is a much better place. For, for it. I, I think it's much better. So I do like it for that. But I also feel weird with everything being like corporate blue. And the fact that Joja murdered somebody at their desk and, and I hated them. So like I think the whole premise is not to go Joja just because of your beginning. So there's my thing. There's there's. Thank you for coming to my Joja talk. <laughs> yeah. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Because what, Lewis? You haven't been in here in ten years, huh? 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 Mm. Okay. Junimos? Junimos are the cutest things ever. I would love a Junimo. If I could have anything in life, I would have a Junimo. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I have a t-shirt that has a Junimo. I have a t-shirt. I have a t-shirt with a Jumino on it. Actually, it has a, it has a whole rainbow of Juminos on it. In fact, I didn't know this, but right now, you see, I'm looking down. Right now, right now. I'm uh, underneath my little apron here. Yep. I, I, I have a little a little shirt that says Valley Girl on it. Yeah, because I'm a starter Valley Girl. Yeah. See? And you know what's the worst part of this whole thing? Lewis has it once. Has it once commented on my awesome party hat. Do you, do you see that? Nothing. No, no, no party hat comment. None. None. Ugh. They do have plushies. They do have plushies. Yeah. I gave Brie 2 and Brie 3 uh, chicken, so for a uh, center class stuff. Because we don't have, we don't have gifts on Christmas here. No, Christmas is for eating all the foods. Christmas is a food day's. We open presents on the 5th. We open them on Santa Claus Dach, Santa Claus Day. Yeah. I tell you. He's going to keep this place unlocked from now on so people can break in and break all the stuff and, and ruin it even further. That's what Lewis wants. You know what? I bet you if Lewis kept this place unlocked, then, uh, then Linus could move in in the wintertime and be a little bit warmer. right the Norwegian Christmas I don't know the Norwegian Christmas cat I should go look that up I don't know that one I just know that Sinterklaas comes comes with a horse comes on a horse on a steamship yes so so we have a lot of holidays we have a lot of holidays all the holidays all the holidays we have we have Thanksgiving at, at that last Thursday in uh, in uh, in uh, in November, um, oh, I saw the mugs with the coffee on them. I love those. Uh, and then we do then we do Santa Claus stock, and then we do book and slipper, which is our made up holiday that we appropriated from the Icelandic people. Uh, and we get books. It's a day of getting books, and you get books, and you get slippers. So that's why it's called book and slipper. And, uh, and and we do that and we get and, and we get you spend the whole day ignoring everybody and just reading your books and and just chilling out journaling drawing eating food chill 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 it's good then we have Christmas which is more food then we have New Year's which is like our hot pot fondue extravaganza it's all about the food yeah oh yeah yep It. Yeah. yeah, it's a book holiday. It's from the, I don't know, I don't know the name, uh, the Icelandic word, but it's like 6,000 million things long. It's, uh, it's called the book flood. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're supposed to be fighting Haley? Wait a minute, Bree. I thought you were supposed to be asleep. I mean, I don't mind you. Oh, oh the timing! Yeah. I am the new farmer girl, or whatever. How do you like my hat, Haley? It's fashion, Haley. But you wouldn't know about that, Haley. I would never lie. Never, 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 never. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Ah, ah, I don't know. I just had to find her. Now I'm done. Ah. We'll be wrapping up soon anyway, because it's it in, in my land, it's it's really late at night, and I've been up since 4 a.m., so I need to go to sleep at some point. I think we're going to go to bed, and, and, and we'll end it on the Saturday today. Yeah. 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 I love how everyone picks on you, Brie. No one ever picks on me because I'm loved, just so you know. Ha. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We watered these, we're good. Let's chop some stuff down. Let's clear some farm. You know, I'm not surprised Bree can't can't sleep either because you know what? Insomnia is real, yo. It is the worst. Like we have a rule in the house when Bree 2 and Bree 3 like have a quote unquote bedtime, they don't have to sleep. Like they just have to be in bed. They do. That's all I care about. I'm like, go to bed. You can have a book, you can draw a picture. You can journal. Yeah. But, but, as long as you're just resting. Just, just physically rest. Because insomnia is real. It'll get ya. Yeah! We need to find out about that Alfredo sauce song, if I'm allowed to watch it or not. Because I, I, I hope, I was told it was highly recommended. Apparently it's a number one. On, on someone's, uh, uh, what is that thing at the end of the year you get from Spotify? <laughs> you know, it's okay. We 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 can let Bree like you know try to chase clout and stuff. It's good, you know. Help help the fledgling VTubers out. Give up, give them a, a a light. It's good to support people. You know, it's good to support people. Yep, in bed, no screens. But, but, uh, books, books are fine, so you can have a light on to read. I'm cool with that. It's, it's just as long as you're chilling and you're resting. And I even do the same thing for myself. Get my book, sit in bed, chill out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bed's good. See? So they don't have to sleep. They just have to have a, like, be in bed. It's like, be in your bedtime, not go to sleep time. Damn, I'm looking out for the future bunny VTubers. Uh, why is it I miss You know why I'm missing these trees? Because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's true? I think that's valid that not reading right before you go to sleep because you might forget it. If it's something that I'm really like into or I want to take notes on, like a book club book, I won't I won't read it. I'll usually read books that I've already read before. How's my health? Oh, oh, um, I'll usually read books like, like, that I've read a million times, so I, if I fall asleep it won't matter. It's just comfort. Because that's why you have the vibe shelf. So you say, you know what? I need to go, I need to go and, and read a book that's going to give me the sleepy vibe. The chill vibe. And then I go read that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And I say, not everyone likes to read, and that's valid too. That is... That is 100%. Uh, Bree number three does not like to read. Nope. Does not like to read at all. So she prefers to journal or draw. As long as it's quiet. Yep. Yeah. Got her book. And, and it's the feel of paper. I swear. The feel of paper. My favorite genre. I like. I like uh, historical fiction. Like. Like. Old classics and stuff. Yeah. I do. I do. I like that the best. Um, yeah. But I'll tell you, I like I'm in the good omens because of Breeze Book Club, and I love it. I love it. But normally I read, like, uh, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I like I like all the Jane Austen books. Yep, all the Bronte sisters books. Um, uh, I like those. I like uh, 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 Anne Radcliffe. Yeah, I read her stuff. Things like that old stuff. Canterbury Tales. Yep, I'll read. I'll read. I tend to, I tend to read things like Austen and, and and the Bronte sisters before I go to sleep because they're like I read them so many times. So I, I'm like uh, old person reading book stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. I like it. Oh, so we're going to end today. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and we're going to chill out for the rest of the day. So what we're going to do, we're just going to chill out. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Just chill out. Talk about books. There is no plans for Mrs. Cookie Book Club. Cookie Box Book Club because Bria is such a wonderful job. Okay, Withering Heights is a weird read. I would 100%. I saw that on the book club list. I was like, I would read that. And then I also saw that Song of Achilles was on there. If all of you have not read Song of Achilles, go read it. Like, I ugly cried the whole, like, last quarter of the book. Like, you know it was coming. You know it was coming. And you just, you just couldn't. Oh, my gosh. Ugly cried. It was so good. So good. So good. 100%. Yeah. Read it. Uh, what else? Um, 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 I like lots of books. And and also, uh, sometimes I get books with um, hyper fixations. Okay. Okay. I have to admit this because it's kind of like a power move thing. But I read 1984 in 1984. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I'm that old. I can say cool stuff like that. Yeah. I do think if Howl's Moving Castle was on the book club, I would be 100% like happy, happy, happy. Yeah. Withering Heights is the one with the super uh, bad um, love triangle. <laughs> we'll, put it, we'll put it politely. Super toxic relationship. I have also read Animal Farm, but not at a farm. That... That is that is a thing I regret. But I have read 84 and 84. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And I made sure I read it. I was like so happy. I was like, someday I can use this. <laughs> so, uh, I can only say as, as living in 1984, it was not accurate. Nope. Not at all. Yep. Yep. I was in, uh, that was the year I graduated eighth grade. So I didn't really understand a lot of it. It was over my head and uh, yeah, it was, but I liked it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did. And uh, oh yeah. So deep dives, deep dives into books and hyperfixation, Alice in Wonderland and through the looking glass of what Alice found there. I'm obsessed with Lewis Carroll, like for three years, three years. Oh, sorry. Not that, that kind of graduated the other, other normal everyday old school version of graduated. <laughs> I, I finished eighth grade with the diploma. <laughs> we actually had a ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. We did one for eighth grade and one for high school. Yeah. Yeah. So good. So good. I don't read a lot of science fiction because I think science fiction is hard for me to understand. Um, I, I get, um, I get overwhelmed with science fiction. Yeah. They, they, that makes sense. I, I, I think physics, physics actually scares me. It, it, it makes, it, it scares me. Yeah. Okay. So for the record, Alice, Alice did not wear a blue dress with the white apron. No, no, no. It was a yellow dress with the blue apron, the original Sir John Tino illustrations. When they were colored with the original watercolors, they were a yellow dress with blue apron, just for the record. Also, also, fun fact, fun fact, and the second book, Through Looking Glass, what Alice found there at the very end, where it has the poem that starts a boat lingering in the sunny sky. So, yeah, that one. Uh, if you read the first letters all the way down, it spells Alice Pleasance Little, who is the original Alice. The book was written for her. And it's Little, not Liddell. It rhymes with fiddle. That was per his notes. And he used to write in purple ink when he was drugs, just so you know. So you can tell what letter he was. Yeah, so <laughs> physics is algebra with a top half and a monocle. You know what? Physics scares me. Like the whole, especially like theoretical physics, like that whole string theory, very scary. 
very scary. Oh, also going back to Lewis Carroll, because I told you I'm obsessed with this person, like 100%. I mean, it's been years since I read anything by him, but uh, yeah, Lewis Carroll all the way. But he also wrote Sylvie and Bruno, and I think it was in Sylvie and Bruno, where he's his poems has Issa Bowman. If you read to top to bottom, she's in there as well. So he used to write a lot of poems for people. Um, also, he worked at Oxford. He was a, he was a, a logic teacher. And he wrote lots of books and textbooks on logic. Yep. 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 But uh, yeah. Yeah. He wrote a poem about math once too. I actually know that poem, but I'm not going to say it now because I'm sleepy and I'll make silly things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a theoretical physics degree. I have a theoretical theoretical degree in physics. That that would be me. I think I think when you get super duper small or super duper big, I get scared. I do. I do. It scares me. It's like I can't understand. Can't understand. It just. It's too scary for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I. I, I think it's um. Uh yeah, Papa Cookie. He he likes he likes physics. He likes her. He's always always trying to tell me stuff. And I'm like, no, can you not? No, because the trauma is real. Yo, you can't tell me this right before bed. I cannot hear this right before bed. Yeah. Do you also know that he, um, I didn't really, I did not hear about the Queen Victoria thing, the textbook. That's funny though. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so the second book, The Looking Glass and What Alice Found There, that was uh, based on a puzzle. It's a chess puzzle in the frontispiece. It has a picture of the puzzle itself. And, um, you, you can actually go see that in it. And each chapter, like that's why she takes the train is because she goes over two squares because she's a pawn and you have to get her to the Queen's. Okay. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind other other sciences. I find them exciting. And I don't mind general physics, basic physics. I took basic physics in, in school. I liked it. But oh, oh no. no. Once, once I, I, my, my very first algebra class, I didn't understand algebra either. I don't know what I was doing. It was terrible. I was terrible. I was terrible at math. Like my first few years of math, I just spent my whole life crying. Like second grade, I'm at the board and everyone's doing like subtraction with like more than two numbers, one on top, one on the bottom. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why is a raven like a writing desk? You know why? I, I, I think it has something to do with quills. He actually said it does not exist. He does not know. I love math. I think it's a beautiful thing. But, but it used to scare me a lot. And now I love it. I do love it. But, oh. Oh, am I going to love Outer Wilds? I'm so excited about this game. So it's Thursday and tomorrow, Bree, you're going to help me set it up because I don't know what happened at all. Like, I just could not get it to go from screen. Whoa. Scary. Yeah. I, I did have a character art when it came to math. I did. I had to go to the college to um, take it over summer school because I was going to fail out of high school. and um, I, I, uh, I, I didn't know, I didn't know how to do it. And I sat there in class and I was 15 years old. And this was back in the 1980s when like kids did not go to school, like colleges, it was, it was a community college. And, and, uh, it was, it was my first day and I was tiny. I was small. I was so small. I couldn't open the door because the, the door was too heavy for me. So I couldn't just like, oh open it could do it and uh um I, I i had to wait outside till the teacher opened the door up for me i was embarrassed and then he he looked down at me and he goes are you waiting for your mommy are you is your mommy in this class and i was like no dude i'm in this class and then i sat there in the class the whole semester and he never called on me and i never raised my hand because we were both embarrassed but but he, everything he said made sense like, I don't know what it was. It just like a little light bulb went off on my head. Yeah. Yep. His name is Mr. Ballas, Robert Ballas. He is my hero. I don't know if he's still alive because he was like very old when I was in school. But, uh, loved him. Ever since. And then I, I, I clicked. And then I realized that math, math is just like, it's like breathing. You just got to get the rhythm. Just got to get the rhythm. And I'm not ignoring you, Tino mom, who teaches middle school science. I think that's so cool that you teach about dinosaurs. That's the best. That's the best. I like dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 
Anyway, so happy news about Mr. Ballas is I end up taking all my math classes from him all the way through calculus. I went from failing out of school, like not going to graduate failing math to being able to take calculus because of him. He is like literally my hero. I love him so much, so much. And then I taught, but taught, is that a big word? Tutored and then had a small group uh, for 15 years. Yep. One of my many, 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 many jobs. Yep. Oh, uh, I think he's dead. Because <laughs> um, he was like 70 in the 80s. So he'd be like 130 right now. So I thought it would be okay. <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't use his full name. <laughs> yes. He's going to come haunt me. Oh, actually, I'd be happy to. Yeah, he, he's welcome. He's a great guy. Oh, I love him so much. He was the best. He was the best. Trey could take a long walk off a short pier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like Trey either. It's not fun. I don't like statistics either. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. <laughs> he's fine. I think think the other math teachers are are might still be going. I mean, you got to figure. I haven't been in school in thirty years, so if they were old thirty years ago, they're they're, <laughs> they're not here anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Bree. I remember Bree was saying like a couple New Years's ago. She said, "You know what? You know what? Everyone who can drink uh, alcohol this New Year was born in the nineteen hundreds, and then everyone who can't drink was born in the." 2000s it was like that year and i was like no what about the people born in the 1800s and she's like mom mom um no there's nobody alive in the 1800s and i'm like yeah yeah and then i thought about it and i was like oh no no hey hello hello it's headhunter productions whoo whoo Hello, everybody. Come on in. We're just chatting right now. We're chatting. Uh, so I could do math. I can't do arithmetic. <laughs> I love raids. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're supposed to be playing Stardew Valley, but I've been on this screen for a while, rabbiting on about math for like uh, at least 75 hours. Yeah. 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 But so back to 1800s, because my great grandma was born in the 1800s. So I actually knew people. So I thought, you know, that's old people, not like 1950, but I guess 1950 people are old now. That's so weird to me. Time is weird. That's why I don't like theoretical physics, because time is hard. <laughs> so, hello, Raiders. Uh, I, I, we're hanging out, and we're, we're uh, I'm rabbit it on. <laughs> Down my rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, e, uh um we're just chilling we're hanging out because because uh I just got stuck on a tangent because apparently I do that you know right? we're supposed to uh do you think there's people alive who live in the 1800s they'd be like 120 and I, do we have any left do we have any left maybe one or two yeah yeah <laughs> so raids raids are are not technically surprises there are possibilities and they're in my plan they're not so how's that yeah okay so the whole cleopatra fact is weird weird like there's the one where they talked about like was it Anne frank and somebody else and somebody else were all born like in the same year it's so weird like you start thinking about that time is weird time is weird i don't get time clearly i don't get time because i sleep like no hours they sleep no hours. <laughs> and my brain turns to oatmeal. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. The oldest guy is 111. That's cool. I want to be 111. 111 would be cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No more of 1800s. Okay. No more. No mas. That's the only Spanish I know. No mas. That in uh, Donde Esta Los Baños and uh, Mas Cerveza Por Favor. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm typical. Can I say? Can I say? That's about it. Yeah. Is it is it Tuesday at 10:40 a.m. in the Philippines? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Do you know what? You're right. Somebody being one, two, three years old. That would be cool. 
That would be cool. Oh, I know French. This is the only French I know. Because <clears throat> Brie taught me. <clears throat> Je suis une baguette. Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I know. I'm I'm a stick. I'm a stick. Yeah. Do I have a favorite watch? I don't wear a watch. I have a phone. I have a phone and I have those Googles all over my house and I have little clocks all over my house. I have a haunted clock. I have a haunted clock. So we have a clock that never worked. Nope. Never worked. Never. This is true story. True, true story. Never worked. Never, never worked. It's like, it's a uh, Papa cookies, like great grand uncle, something super old. Yeah. Nope. 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 Anyway, he was, he was, he was, uh, it was a clock and, and, and he had it for years. Yeah. Yeah. Never worked. Never worked. So it's always been on the shelf. We put it on the mantelpiece. We put it on a shelf. It was always pretty. It was just looking nice, just chilling there. And then one day, uh, Apple, the evil orange cat, like just jumped up, jumped up on the shelf and bumped it. And it went sideways, like, like. Uh, it wasn't parallel with the edge of the shelf anymore. There's your science for the day or your math for the day. It was like the left side was two inches and the right side was like four inches away from the edge. Just that kind of that kind of off a little bit and didn't think anything of it. And then all of a sudden it started ticking. Mm -hmm. We're like, what? Why is this clock ticking? It was weird. It was so weird. And then all of a sudden it went like, dong. Oh, it just kind of gave out the time. We're like, okay, that's just weird. And so we didn't touch it. We didn't touch it. And for three days, it kept moving. Like it was working. So I set the time and I was just like, okay, I guess the clock works now. That's bizarre. Hasn't worked in like 80 years. And all of a sudden it's working. No idea why. Weird. Then we picked it up and we put it on the shelf. We made it perfectly parallel like you do. So it's facing forward. Stopped working. Didn't work at all. Nothing. No working. So I was like, okay. And then I was dusting it off. And then I was like, you know what? I wonder what happened if I just pushed it back again, like a little bit back from the edge of the shelf. And you know what? On its own started working again. On its own started working again. Yep. Yep. So there you go. And it's been working ever since. It's been working now for three years. And we can never, never put it parallel with the shelf. It stops working. It just has to be at that it's it's a it's a little one that sits on the shelf it has no chains it has a little coil that you spin with the key and it doesn't have uh the pendulum swings but it it's not the, the pendulum doesn't hit anything either way i don't know how it works it's just and it's always it loses five minutes every day i cannot change it so every morning i have to wake up and and fix it by five minutes which i don't which i don't and then and then when they change that stupid time i just let it not change the five minutes and then I let it go. And then over the course of like a week and a half, it actually adjusts itself by the hour. Yeah. That's how I do it. So it's off for like a whole week. I don't care. Yeah. So that's our, that's our haunted clock. It's really cool. I like it. It's, it's, uh, it makes a big donging noise. Yep. And it's in the other part of the house because if I was streaming, you'd be like, dong, dong, dong. It's, it's really loud. It's really loud. It is the ghost five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's haunted. I, it's, it, there you go. Yeah. So everyone needs a haunted clock, I think. Everyone needs something haunted in their house. You have to have something haunted. It just makes your house cool. You gotta, you gotta have a haunted something. Otherwise your house is like static. Everyone's like, oh, I want original features. I want, I want something, something. I want character. No, you don't. You want haunted haunted everybody wants haunted haunted's good okay i'm gonna save this up because i am so sleepy i'm so sleepy so i am going to end my day oh it's raining i like the rain yeah here we go it's a desktop <laughs> here we go here we go Wah, ah, 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 ah. I always move the wrong key. Ah, laundry machines are haunted. Yes. Oh, do they steal socks too? Oh. 
You know what? I think everyone should come back and haunt their own home. There you go. Haunted houses are the cool. They're so cool. So cool. I like haunted houses. I think I think that's just character to it. So much character. I have all kinds of theories on haunted houses. We should we should play a scary game and, and I can talk all about my ghosts and haunted houses and scary things. I like scary things. I do. Like I'm a big baby, 100% big baby. Uh, I will cry. I, I just hide my eyes. I don't like gory stuff, but oh, like thrillers and suspense. Oh, that kind of scary. Oh, here for it. Here for it. Here for it. And I like survival horror. Yeah. Yeah. I like survival horror. Exactly. How can a house have personality if it isn't haunted? It has to be haunted to have personality. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good night, Nate. In fact, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody now. And thank you all for coming. It was wonderful. Thank you, Raiders, for coming in, even though you came at the very end. And so I'm tired now and I feel like I should be more happy. But it's okay because I, I just want you to know that I love you all. I love you all so much. You're so wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, definitely do. Yeah, definitely do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna also make sure I put my little picture up for those. Thank you for all your wonderful tips from my debut. You're so sweet and wonderful. I'm gonna put those up on my community page, and then, and then I will um, upload my short tomorrow of my cat playing a D and D for you. So all those are in the works. Okay. Thank you all for coming to my stream. It was wonderful, and and. Uh, Make sure you eat some sugar candy and you have some oatmeal cookies. They're the best. Oatmeal gives you fiber. You'll like that. Okay. Good night, everybody. It's been around.